Hello food fans. We're going to have some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Today I was uh, ordering extra spicy. I thought the chicken came with uh, extra spicy, but it doesn't. Just the chicken tenders. So I got the uh, regular chicken, which I like anyway, and it is very hot. Mmm. Delicious. No complaints. Fast service. A lot of rain clouds around today. We're supposed to have some storms off and on during the afternoon. I think we've had rain for the past few days at different times. No major storms. Although we did have uh, quite a bit of lightning last night. Not that much thunder. Train going by here. Um, the train is probably a mile away, but the sound travels, especially on humid days. Let me get a sip of uh, whatever kind of cola this is. Sure, it's Pepsi because uh, Pepsi once owned KFC. And I imagine they still got the contract for the soft drink beverages. So let me get this piece of chicken back up here. Mm. Today I'll talk a little bit about cars. Cars that I've owned, cars that I've known something about. I'm definitely not an expert at fixing cars. Although when I had my brand, brand new 1969 Rambler, which uh, I kept for over 30 years, worked in a lot of movies, and it was easy to work on. 69 Rambler, six cylinder. It was the last year they made the American station wagon. The American being an, a model. This chicken is good and tender. Clouds are drifting around in a circle. My first car is 1946 Packard. Packard was considered to be a luxury automobile. And 1946 was not their best styling year. I think 1955 Packard Caribbean was probably the prettiest car ever made. That and the 1956 Packard Caribbean that was a convertible. 56 Packard Caribbean had reversible seat cushions. You could have one uh, color seat cushions during the day and a different at night if you wanted to go somewhere for night life you want something a little bit uh, fancy you have the fancy side showing if you're a business person you have the business side showing and Packard 1955 had torsion bar suspension which meant when the front wheel hit a bump and went down that would twist a torsion bar that was connected to the rear wheel so the rear wheel would start down before the bump came along and it made the ride smoother. I knew a fellow in the 1940s I was a kid, and there was a watchmaker, a watch repairman, who had a shop on the same street where I lived, just a few doors away. His name was Smitty, Smitty the watchmaker. And he told me, the best car ever made. 
The best car ever made. I'm going to try the biscuit by me. It was a 1934 Dodge. He said when you get old enough to buy a car, get a 1934 Dodge. Smitty had two cars. He had a 1934 Dodge and another 1934 Dodge. And he thought they were the best car ever made, so if you're getting ready to buy a car, see if you can find a 1934 Dodge. Dodge had a good reputation as a dependable car. One more bite of chicken, I'm going to have some coleslaw and mashed potatoes. Judy Baker was a very stylish car. They, Studi Baker was the first to have what was called the new look. Most cars got it in 1949. Studi Baker had it in 1947. Some people would make fun of the way the Studi Baker looked. They'd say you can't tell if it's coming or going. Judy Baker, 1947, was designed by Raymond Lowy, L-O-E-W-Y. Raymond Lowy also designed. You've seen a cruiser bus and Air Force One and a lot of locomotives. He designed the Coke bottle, he designed the telephone that AT&T used up until about 1980, the desk phone. Get my coleslaw here. Food is good at Kentucky Fried Chicken. They have a new ad I just saw when I was inside the restaurant shows a picture of a map of the state of Kentucky and then right below it they have a picture of a drumstick and the way it's designed the way the picture looks looks like Kentucky looks like a drumstick and they have the words coincidence I think not they're implying that Kentucky knows how to make chicken. My family, a lot of the members of my family were from Kentucky. They lived in Kentucky. And all of my uncles and aunts were good cooks and they made great fried chicken. Great coleslaw. Biscuit. Kaiser, Kaiser Fraser, Fraser, Kaiser Fraser started making automobiles. Henry J. Kaiser was a shipbuilder. He started making and selling cars about 1947. He was successful for a while. He remained successful as a business person, but the automobiles ceased to be produced. The last U.S. Kaiser Frasers 
Kaiser's actually was all that was left. 1954 model year was the last year they made them. Good looking cars. They pretty much stole their design from a 1953 Buick um, model car. It was made for showrooms only. It, it was not available for sale, but it was a good looking car. I showed it at the car shows. And Kaiser just borrowed the grill and the headlight design. And supposedly Buick was going to be using that design on this 55 models, 1955 models, but uh, Kaiser beat him to the grill design in 1954. So Buick had a funny looking grill in 55. Buick and DeSoto had what was known as a waterfall grill. Chicken is delicious. Probably the most the most expensive car I ever sat in. It was the 1930s, probably about a 1931 model of a Pierce Arrow limousine. Very rare automobile. I saw it. I was in Louisville, Kentucky. I was about maybe 16, 17 years old. Walking down the street, I looked at the parking lot. And way in the back, there was a Pierce Arrow. Pierce Arrow had funny headlights that were attached to the fenders. So I knew what it was right away. I walked back to get a look at it, and there was a fellow opening the door, getting ready to go somewhere. He asked if I would like to sit in it, which I did. I sat in it. And the back seat was very luxurious. The back seat was upholstered more thickly than any living room sofa. Careful I don't spill the mashed potatoes and gravy or this law. The prettiest car in a movie was a movie, the public domain. You can see it anywhere. It's called Detour. A car that is featured prominently throughout the movie is a Lincoln Continental. My uncle had a nice car. He had a 1949 Buick Ford Dan Roadmaster. Very smooth riding car. I had a friend who bought a brand new 1952 Plymouth. Best looking interior on any car that I've noticed is uh, Hudson. Hudson Hornet especially. 
made the Hudson Hornet the Hudson Wasp. Hudson sales started going down after about 1950. It didn't sell very many, but there was a dealer in Chicago who was selling 10,000 Hudsons a year because he knew how to sell cars. Jim Moran. Jim Moran, the courtesy man, courtesy motors. Most of the taxi cabs you'll see in old movies, 1940s movies, are from Chrysler Corporation, usually DeSotos and Dodges, and they're what we would call limousines. Extra long. Another car that was a limousine that was pretty much affordable was the Checker, Checker Marathon. Made by a taxi cab company. Some more coleslaw here. Food is good. Food is good. Food is good. The um, freedom here in Tennessee is probably greater than most states with the uh, COVID-19 quarantine situation. cold. Let's see what this is here. My last piece of chicken is a wing, big wing. The cars I own, the 1946 Packard. <coughs> A 1950 Cadillac four door, a 1951 Chevrolet four door, a 1953 Chevrolet four door, 1955 Mercury hardtop, nineteen sixty nine Rambler. Bought brand new 1969, January of 1969. Drove it 232,000 miles, and I could actually tune it up. The Rambler got 24 miles per gallon. Packard got 15 miles per gallon. I don't know what this car is. This is a Dodge Caravan 19, uh, 2005 model. Before this, I had a Oldsmobile Silhouette. Also had a 19. 95 Ford fan. Um, I had a motorhome. It was a Ford. 1994 Ford, I think.
very good lunch. Getting darker. Like it's um, contemplating the possibility of bursting into a a rainstorm. 55 Packard Caribbean convertible would be my very favorite design for a car that was actually available to purchase. I like the design of this car that I'm in now, 2005 Dodge Caravan. It has seats that fold into the floor, completely disappearing. And when they're not folded into the floor, you can use the space for uh, storage. Very good. A little bit of rain falling. car that used to win what was called the Mexican Road Race, real rough roads, cars had to travel long distances and the faster they got there the more chance they had of winning. And the consistent winner was Hudson and one of the things I'll tell you about Hudson is just a piece of trivia. Hudson's center of gravity for a Hudson was below below the surface of the road. Looks like it should be raining. When I worked at Paramount, uh, Paramount lot, <clears throat> I was on Dear John. <clears throat> I would park in the parking lot in my Rambler. And most of the most of the cars that were parked in the parking lot were BMWs, Jaguars, Mercedes, Cadillacs. And one Rambler. Nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety two. That was fun. The meal was good. Thank you for joining me. We actually are getting some dark clouds out there. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching.